Hey there folks, Rainy MT here and let's go over how boat exploration works in Bravely Default 2. So boat exploration is a great way to get some pretty good items while you're not playing the game. However, there's a few caveats to it that can potentially be a little bit confusing. So the premise is that while your switch is on sleep mode and you're out on exploration, for up to 12 hours, your butt will be going around doing various things. If you're online, you'll meet up with other people and get some slightly better items. But, that said, there's, it can be a little bit confusing. So you can see here, I had an expiration going and it's been going for just under two hours. If I stop, I'm not actually gonna get any items, but just for the purposes of showing it off here, I am gonna go ahead and stop it. Now once it stopped, you'll have to hit start exploration again, and so let's go over how you actually get time spent exploring. Time spent exploring is by having the game running and the switch being on sleep mode. There is another way to do this, I'll talk about that a little bit later, but you want the game running and to go on sleep mode. You don't want to power off, you don't want to close the game, you want to have the game open while you're on sleep mode. Okay, so with the game running and you have an expiration started, sleep mode if you're gonna be taking a break from the game. Remember, game has to be running. And then five minutes later, pop it back up and oh look, time's been exploring. Five minutes. Now, let's do that same thing. Spend five minutes waiting. However, this time, this is what happens if you close the game and then wait. Do note, I did forget to save here, so the time will not be the same. It won't start from five, I'll start from zero. Okay, five minutes later, let's go ahead and check on our exploration. As you can see, despite five minutes of having passed, it's set to zero because, again, I did forget to save it, so it didn't save that I had waited five minutes. So, yeah, the game cannot be closed. I did just sit on the dashboard. This is fine. You can be on the dashboard if the game is running. It will count as long as you're on an exploration in the dashboard. The key really is the game has to be running. So, no playing other game. Um, and no closing it if you're wanting to let expiration run. Now another thing they have seen around is time traveling. So I'm just gonna go ahead real quick here and set my time to 12 hours in the future from when I was doing this. Now if I load the game back up, it was still running, you'd be like, wait a second. Don't time travel. It won't work. You cannot do that. You're not gonna get anything. It's just gonna reset your exploration back from where it was. Sorry! No time traveling. They saw around it. Now, of course, if you still have the game running and you set your time back to default to automatically sync, it's going to give you the warning again. But yeah, no time traveling allowed to do the exploration. Also on the topic of time traveling, it uh, since the game would not be running if you close the game and then time travel and then reload the game, it's still not going to work because the game was closed. Also, time traveling doesn't work. Now, as one final little test here, what happens if you close the game and then sleep mode the switch? Again, it's not going to work because the game was closed, so it's not counting any time. So if you want to have exploration mode work, the game has to be running. And you can either be sitting on the dashboard or with the switch and sleep, which will of course, save power. So basically, long story short, time traveling does not work no matter what. Um, to have it work, the game has to be running and either you need to be on the Switch dashboard with the game running or put it to sleep with the game running. If you close the game, timer will stop from wherever you last saved the game. So thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing. If you really found it helpful, then consider supporting the channel. All support greatly helps to keep being content like this and more. You can find the links for that, such as for my Patreon, down in the description below, along with links to me on social media, including a link to my Discord server. 
So thank you again for watching, and until next time, this is Renium T, signing out.